He served effectively in the Mexican-American War, but otherwise had no real notoriety when the Civil War erupted in 1861. So Grant was given command of a small and somewhat reckless volunteer Union force in Illinois in the same year, and he was an outstanding leader of these men, and as such, he rose up in the ranks of the Union Army in the first few years of the war. But in the Western theater, the Union Army dominated the Confederates, and this was largely due to Grant's leadership. He won the region near the Mississippi River with a massive victory at Vicksburg in 1863, and this set the stage for the pivotal year of 1864 when Lincoln appointed Grant as the supreme commander of the Union Army early that year. Now, he was widely regarded as a national hero, and he became became widely popular in the United States. This gave him all the backing he needed to run for president in the 1868 election on the Republican ticket, which he won handily over Democratic challenger Horatio Seymour. 